Ersan, uh, if you tell us first um, what was the campaign about in uh, here in Germany and how you managed to stop the the funding from the German, Austrian and Swiss banks into the Ilisu project, mm -hmm. because I believe it's been a long campaign through the years. And yes. First, uh, let's say the, the Ilisu Dam came on the agenda in 1998 uh -huh. or so. In that time, as it was, uh, should be built with the European uh, companies and loans and credit guarantees. A campaign in Europe has been established in seven states. Mm -hmm. Co companies from seven states were involved in the, through the Edisu Consortium. And the uh, campaign started in, let's say, in 1999. Mm -hmm. It was especially strong in Great Britain. And um, the ECA, the Export Credit Agent, a Agency, they asked for a environmental impact assessment and for a resettlement action plan. This never could be really uh, given, uh, could be, uh, let's say, submitted. Mm -hmm. There were strong problems and um, they demanded some things from the Turkish government, but the Turkish government wasn't could not follow it really, uh, it has also some financial problems, especially if the campaign in Europe was strong. And in 2001, um, uh, when, uh, when the financial crisis in Turkey happened, it was a very big financial crisis, the interest of the Turkish government became very low. And then the campaign in Europe was strong and in the end of 2001, the Britain company Bell for Beauty decided to withdraw from the project, and then uh, three others, two other companies and banks, they also decided the same. And 2002, the project was stopped. In that time, the campaign in Kurdistan was there was a campaign, but not so strong. It, in 98 and 9, there was a strong war in Kurdistan, uh, intensive violation of human rights and in 2000 it started to change but uh, the society just had a strong time of war. In 2005, in the beginning of 2005, the project came on the agenda again. Now the, there was a new Turkish government, led by AKP and the economic situation was better in Turkey, became better and a new consortium has been founded and it was led by Andritz from Austria um, and there were companies from Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So in 2005 we came on the agenda and in that time I was in Kurdistan working and I got or uh, we started to establish in the initiative and we get in contact with the a, with the several European NGOs who were again interested in EU Sudan. These were NGOs of the ECA reform campaign who work on the export credit agencies. Uh, organizations from six states in Europe were involved, uh, five, six states. And then we started to develop the campaign in the end of 2005, the ISU consortium uh, did his approval for an export credit guarantee in, in November and uh, we started to make comments on the EIA and the Resettlement Actions Plan, RRP, until summer 2006. It was a time where we worked a lot of reports and counter reports and comments and so on. And it was, the campaign continued and it became stronger and stronger. In 2000, uh, we, we demanded from the European government not to give the Europe its export credit guarantee. There were many, many discussions with them. Uh, we, had a, we have sent also a delegation from Kurdistan to Europe two times to discuss mm -hmm. it with them. 
and the European uh, ECA, they said, finally, you have, you are right with your concerns. We know, we see that there are problems. If we don't do it, we are, if we are not involved in this project, then Turkey will bring Chinese companies and Chinese export mm -hmm. ECAs, and then it will be uh, worse for you. We said, no, it's, you cannot uh, argue like this. You should uh, comply with your uh, standards and so on, and what you say, what you claim, and we will not uh, accuse you if you leave the project and the Chinese come. That's not mm -hmm. the issue. That's a long time it was discussion like this, and we did a lot of things: actions, protests, reports, and so on. But in March 2007, the three uh, governments approved the Idi Sudan project. Mm -hmm. They approved it with the, but with the uh, with the terms of reference. It means 153 conditions by the U three European ECAs have been developed, and Turkey accepted this. And there were conditions, uh, improvements on the social, cultural, ecological and international aspects. And the ECA said on the cultural and ecological aspect we cannot do much, but on the social aspect we can do a lot. We can uh, ensure that the, this, the resettlement will not be so bad socially. This is what they said. We said no, almost no of the criteria will be fulfilled by Turkey because Turkey has not the interest and secondly they have not the capacity, they don't understand what you write and they never have done issues like this. And yes, and uh, the time between March 2010 until 2009 was also very intensive, writing statements, do actions in Europe and also of course in course in Kurdistan and report, publishing reports, going to the press and so on. Um, let's say five uh, NGOs in Europe, with them we coordinated the campaign with the initiative, our initiative. We, we spoke every week together and what we can do and we planned all the actions and so on. And. Uh, in Germany, Austria and Switzerland was the center of the campaign, but there was also actions in Italy because the Italian bank Unicredit owned the Austrian bank, Bank of Austria, which wanted to give also credit, or Société Générale from France was also involved. And we worked on the European Union level. We did a lot of things, but beside of uh, these NGOs, more professional NGOs, social, Human rights, environmental NGOs, they are. And we have also developed uh, action groups in different cities of Germany and Switzerland, uh, Germany and Austria. There were in interested people, Kurdish, German, others, and they worked together in groups, action groups. We made several times in action days in Europe. One was, two were against the banks who were involved means Deka Bank from Germany, Société Générale in France and Bank of Austria in Austria and Unicredit in Italy. So at the same time we did common actions in front of the banks in 10 or 15 cities we did it. We did a big demonstration in Berlin or in Vienna and uh, we made, we went to the European Union Parliament, made a conference we made an action in front of the Turkish embassy once, yes, in, several Turkish, in front of several Turkish embassies, and uh, against the three European governments we made actions, different kind, and an important part was, uh, or, yes, actions like this, and small actions, big, and there were many meetings, public meetings, panel discussions, we went to the press, a lot to the press, and the big press, they wrote regularly on this issue. We could have won some... Here in Germany? Or Germany, in all the Germany, other countries? Germany, Austria, Switzerland, uh -huh. Italy and France. The big press, they wrote regularly about this yeah. issue. We had good contacts with the journalists in Istanbul. Uh -huh. 
and so they wrote regularly. And uh, we involved also, yes, and uh, we have one, we have won some important, let's say, VIPs, uh, artists, mm -hmm. for example, Bianca Jagger from UK, two, three artists in uh, Germany, or Fatih Akin, he's a famous Turkish original uh, German uh, register, and some politicians from the Lefter or Green parties or Social Democratic parties they supported and uh, they made statements and action, they joined actions and once we, we have occupied the Brandenburger Tor in Berlin we have occupied it also so we tried many things what we can do we made a signature campaign and many many issues and and uh, but what we then we 